right, so in today's video, we're getting John's car 100%, getting it loaded on the trailer, getting it ready. We're gonna put wheel spacers on the front and go send it. So tomorrow we will be drifting, but you'll see that in this video. And we actually hit a thousand subscribers last night. So thank you to everybody that subscribed. Can't wait for this journey to keep going and I'm ready to see my boy shred. All right, John, let's see what we got. Uh, what, an inch and a quarter? Or? Inch and a quarter spacer. So we're just gonna use the factory wheel bolts to bolt these on, and then we'll just have regular lug nuts. Sway bar hits, so we don't, we're not able to use all the angle that it has. So these should be perfect for it. Get that little bit of drift poke, because we ain't got none right now. No, I need all of it. So we're gonna get her jacked up and put these on. See what it looks like and see if we can get all of our angle. And we're gonna check the alignment again because, yeah, she pulls. My alignment wasn't great the other day. All right, so I got these spacers off Amazon. They were like $40. They're hub centric and they actually fit the BMW perfect. Five by 120. The hub centric on the spacer fits the rotor and stuff perfect. Fits the wheel nice and snug, so there's gonna be no vibration. And the wheel bolt should hold these on pretty good. But we do got to check once we tighten them, rotate the wheel around, make sure it doesn't hit nothing on the back side. I think these are going to be perfect. So here's the reason we're putting spacers. We've been rubbing the frame and the sway bar. And this car has stock springs, so we're going to leave the sway bar. That's why we're putting spacers. But we're going to try one of his brother's BMW wheels on it. Just to see what it looks like. And the tires are a little smaller, so it'll clear more. And I think this will give a lot more poke. Oh wait, I got wheel studs now. Oh yeah. That's great. Best part of this. Oh, oh look at that poke. <laughs> I need a socket. Tire's a little small, so it's a little goofy. I think that wheel would look killer on this car. Much better than that crap. What's up? Oh man, that ain't bad. Like if this car was car was lowered a little bit, like that would be killer. It's perfect. Man, I like that. So that looks good. I don't think it's hitting anything. That's a pretty good angle. Out of some cheap ass eBay blocks. Alright, so we made it out here. Car made it in one piece, side skirts are falling off. All right, John, how do you feel? I'm a little bit nervous. I like, told you you'd be nervous. I mean, it's really not bad. I'm more nervous for the car, surprisingly, still. Well, I don't feel nervous for myself. Either. Clutch is not happy. I went for a little rip last night, and the clutch kind of smoked a little bit, second gear, but it's wet, raining today, so hopefully, hopefully it holds up. We're gonna get this thing unstrapped, let him get the butterflies out of his stomach, and we're gonna go out and kill it. Hopefully not the clutch. All right, it's John's driver's meeting. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go out for the first lap, just fill the car out, make sure it's good for John to jump in and we're gonna send it. I hope the clutch holds up. If not, then we'll get it replaced. But for the sake of the day, I hope it holds up for him to be able to get a few laps. So let's get it. All 
All right, so I'm gonna check the front end again, maybe check the alignment again, because the car is pushing the front end pretty hard. And it could be due to having stock suspension and whatnot, but I'm gonna see what I can do with the front end just so it's more comfortable for John. All right, so the car is pushing the front tires really hard and the steering was a little off, but the passenger tie rod, I didn't cut enough to be able to get the wheel to pull in more. So to get that wheel straight, you have to have the wheel off. So I got the alignment set up. I got an eighth inch toe out. Uh, so pretty much we're gonna send it with that. John's gonna go out there and just have fun. And we just didn't get the front end set up the way I wanted to, but it's what it is. The front tires we have on here are really, really hard. So it's, it just shoves the front tire so hard. But that last change I made, made it way worse. So I set it back the way we had it. Here we go, John. What kind of feelings you got right now? Honestly, I'm just nervous about the car. Like, All right, I'm nervous about the car, car and I'm nervous about the downhill. The downhill transition is like the one thing that's been going through my head all day. Yeah. Other than that, I think I'm good. All right, so I'll drop a clip in right here. Yeah. here we let him drive our buddy's mustang and john killed it on the first few turns he got to hit the downhill and the car shoved the front tires and he froze like he locked up and he almost hit the ditch we had people scattering out of their chairs and they were running <laughs> almost but, but never hit i think that struck a nerve with him but other than that like, he killed it in that mustang but this car the clutch being weak we're not able to really clutch kick it so it's gonna take it easy for today so let's do it dried up down here so the bottom half is going to still be wet all right so we're going to pay attention to that when we get down there all right let's go all right so just drive through this part catch up to speed get up get up to speed all right flick it in NASCAR driver. You are a professional NASCAR driver. I did better than him though. I can't drive with the Oh, that was good, John. I can't drive, but I can sling a bit. <laughs> All right, we're going up for John's second lap. Did he say go? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, get a little more speed. Yeah. 
shift knob. What the? Uh, I'm gonna drop the fuck through this. <laughs> Fucking shift knob came off. You wanna go through there? Yeah. Damn, John, you big head bitch. You broke it. Hey, I was ready to grab second, too. <laughs> yeah, you grabbed it. I see it. No, no, we're going more. My shift knob. I'll put it back. Now I see why people break shift knobs all the time. I've never Holy done it myself, shit. but. That's how Anthony's came off. Why are you yanking so hard? I was excited. It don't take that much to put it in gear. I was ready, too. I was locked. You notice I put it in first for you. Yeah, I was like, You're okay. doing really good at pushing the clutch in when you spin and keeping the car from trying to rotate the motor backwards. That's really good. Like, you're on that clutch. That's, that's good. Well, lap four coming up. I'm working. All right, Johnny boy, let's see what you got. When John pulled the shift knob off, I put it back on and smacked it down, and now we can't get reverse, and the shifter is it's a little up, bit wobbly. up and down. It sounds like it's hit the dry shaft. So he uh, he spun that second to last lap, and he dumped the clutch a second. It smoked, and I was trying to tell him to stop, but he was just full throttle. <laughs> hey, I'm committed, baby. But we're gonna let it cool down, see if it uh come back, which it might, and because we hot lapped it like five solid laps, so. Let her cool down and see what happens. Oh, are you killing it? Like, I'm excited. I just hope the clutch holds up. I want to drive some more. Like, no more nervousness at all, huh? Dude, I'm really like, nervous when I first love. And I really think a set of Corsa, if you're looking to get into drifting, a set of Corsa is a good spot to start. Like, when he started drifting on a set of Corsa, he sucked, just like I did. And I, I, I know how to drift a car. But a set of Corsa, if you can learn a set of Corsa, it translates like, very well out here. Like, seeing the things he was doing, I really didn't have to tell him what to do. Like, letting off the throttle a few times, stuff like that helped him. But John's got this. If he's in a capable car, he can do it. Run the clutch, pull we'll go back out.
boys out here winning in slides. This is my buddy Nigel's car. This thing is sick. He kills it in this thing. Sick VS's. Speed. No, we don't have reverse. Let's go. go ahead and, yes. Let's get it. Throttle, throttle, throttle. And you spun again. Alright, go, go. One bad, John. <laughs> Okay, so update on the shifter. It started dragging on the dry shaft. So I had to rip this little doohickey out and use it to hold the shifter up a little bit off the dry shaft. As you can see, it's been rubbing. So yeah, we're good now. We got a few more laps and we're gonna have to pack it up for today. John, you've been killing it, buddy. I'm excited for this car. Right, like, I'm trying to see, like, how far you sound like Ricky Bobby. Bobby, like you don't know what to do with your hands. You're a NASCAR driver, right? No, Jesus, don't take me with him. Alright, so we're gonna drive over that way. Alright. Right. Second. Alright, more speed. More speed. I take. Let's go. Alright, we're gonna go over that way. Alright, right, 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 right here. Busting up here, but no homo. <laughs> John, what you got to say? I'm kind of mad that I didn't link it. That's you can't it. be mad you didn't link it. <laughs> no. You basically linked it, except you straightened just a little bit at the bottom. You never spun, and you got right back in it, and you were able to do it. No, I was trying to get this car complete. Cool. Yeah, but you cannot be mad at your first event. Right. So, hopefully next year we'll get my boy right here. Get him out here in the 350Z. 
and then you got a couple years. But I guess I'm gonna end that one off. Any last words, John? I'm ready to come back. <laughs> we ain't even left yet. I don't know, I'm ready to come back. We gotta take care of that shifter, that's for sure. All right, well, I appreciate you watching. Until the next one, we'll see you then.